Hi, this is Scott Hanselman. I wanted to share a couple of cool features of Visual Studio 2012 and ASP.NET 4.5. Specifically in this short video, the JavaScript Editor. Lots of new stuff in the JavaScript Editor. Little improvements that make life easier. One of the things that didn't work very well in previous versions of Visual Studio is that you would get used to features in one language editor, like for example the C-Sharp editor, that had collapsing of regions, brace matching, go-to definition support, and lots of other little things. And then you'd move into other languages like CSS, HTML, or JavaScript and wouldn't have that same experience. Well, we've gone through the entire application to make sure that everyone is a first-class language. So JavaScript, CSS, HTML, Visual Basic, C Sharp, they all have the same great experience. I'm going to go and create a brand new JavaScript file. I just called it test.js. Notice that I've got some existing scripts in my ASP.NET application, and I've got a references file. This underscore references shows that for any JavaScript file that I create, I automatically want to have support for jQuery, jQuery UI, and Modernizer there, so that those references can be automatically resolved. And it assumes that I'm going to have that set up at runtime. So when I'm sitting in test.js, I can automatically open up a jQuery object. You see I've got IntelliSense, documentation, named parameters, overloads. We've got five overloads here. I've got modernizer. I could say if tab. It's not the case that modernizer dot input types dot HTML5 date time is supported. Enter. Open up a jQuery object and say if date time isn't supported, then let's take anything that has date time. Grab that dot Notice that I've got IntelliSense and Help, and let's turn that into a date picker. So we're going to take anything that is an input type of date time. If date times are not supported in this browser, we'll automatically turn that into a date picker. Notice that I had IntelliSense at every step of the way. Well, it's actually more than that. Let's make a new function here. We'll just call it foo, and I'll say x, y, and z. I'll come down later and pretend that I'm calling foo. Notice that foo has already showed up in the IntelliSense. If I open it up, X, Y, and Z are there. Let me change the parameter list, go right back. Notice that IntelliSense is automatically updated. I didn't have to rebuild anything. I didn't even save the file. In this case, IntelliSense is not only happening automatically, but the entire JavaScript file is being run constantly. Additionally, we could add some hints to this. I could go into my function foo here, and we could put in a little bit of XML documentation about these types. In this case, I'll say that the parameter x is an int because uh, it's special. I'll say close param. I'll come right back down here and when I do my IntelliSense on foo, notice that I've got extra information about x. I could have that in line in my JavaScript or I could have that in a separate VS documentation file. So if I had my test.js, I could have test.vsdoc.js. We've got those automatically for jQuery and all the big libraries. I could say var a equals 1, type in a dot, and notice that I'm getting IntelliSense like 2 exponential and 2 fixed. These are all number specific things because the editor knows that this is a number. If I change a to a string, type in a dot, notice that I'm getting things like character at and length and replace, as well as ECMAScript 5 standard functions like trim because it knows that a is a string in this case. It actually ran the JavaScript. And that's how we're able to have such great IntelliSense. Visual Studio Editor now handles outlining. You get brace matching, collapsing of methods. You have right click, go to definition. I'll say right click, go to definition on date picker. Know that it automatically opens up jQuery UI. We've also got validation and color coding for regular expressions. JavaScript editing in Visual Studio 2012 is a lot more fun than it used to be. It's a much more active and updated environment that gives you not only IntelliSense, completion hints on function signatures, auto-reducing statement lists, document.al, l, and lots, lots more. We hope you enjoy using it as much as we had fun writing it. Thank you.